Okay, so we're gonna make the fondant for the cakes. So the mise en place for the fondant for the cakes is we have uh, powdered sugar. I went ahead and sifted that. Um, I used a, uh, a sifter here, just a regular uh, drum sifter, but you can just use a, whatever you have at home, fine. Um, just a little strainer or whatever, that's fine. I have some, I have some of these uh, shortening here, and then I have a little bit of water here, right? So your recipe's in your packet. So what I did was I took the marshmallows, let me go over here, show you. I took the marshmallows and I put them in the microwave oven. So, so they're melted now. It makes a little bit of a mess in there, but that's fine. All right, so, okay. So what we're gonna do with the marshmallows, we're gonna take them over here and I'm gonna set this down here so you can see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine the marshmallows with the uh, shortening, with the uh, water and with the uh, powdered sugar and we're gonna make fondant, right? So. All right, let's do it. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, first I get I get some of the shortening, I put it on my hands like this. You wanna really, really get your hands all greasy like this. And the reason why is, otherwise it'll stick to your hands. Okay, it's just gonna totally stick to your hands otherwise. All right, and then what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go ahead and take my marshmallows. I've, I've sprayed the inside of the container so it doesn't all stick in there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna, a little bit warm so you gotta be careful and then i'm adding some of the short to it as well just pieces of it like this and don't add much water you might not even need any depending on the moisture level of your marshmallows right and so we're just going to keep adding this you may not need to add all your powdered sugar what you're trying to do is you're trying to get it to where it's dry it's a dry candy uh coating for the outside of your cake right so again, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna continue to mix, knead, all right? And then once I get to here, I dump it out onto a table. I'm gonna add a little more shortening to it. There's some recipes that actually have you using like, like uh, vegetable oil, that's fine too. A little bit more water. Now the the, uh, the very very important that the that the powdered sugar be sifted. All right, you want to make sure that powdered sugar is sifted. If it's not sifted, you're gonna have big big lumps in there. Okay. So this is the fondant, rolled fondant, the stuff that they use in uh, like cake boss or whatever. Right. So wedding cakes and stuff. Again, you can color this as well. You can put in uh, any color you want. To make it red, just by adding a little bit of red food coloring and just kneading it right in there, okay? You can make it uh, green, if it's green food coloring or whatever. You can even add some like raspberry puree to make it natural. You can add a little raspberry flavor then. Again, notice how I'm not adding all of the powdered sugar all at once because I don't want it to get too dry. Go ahead and continue to add my shortening in here and a tiny bit of water in here. Adding more, more the uh, powdered sugar. You can do this up to like six days, five, six days in advance. You know, it just stays. And then um, it's easier to, easier to work with it if it's a tiny bit warm. So you just take the whole fondant piece and just pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and you're good to go, right? So. So, just continuing. All right. It's just, so it's like, it's really stretchy and really sweet. Obviously, it's got six cups of sugar and a pound of marshmallows. It's really sweet, right? So, again, we just keep mixing it. You can't over mix it. Um, there's no gluten in there or anything like that. It's just sugar, right? So just, just continue to mix, all right? Again, it's still, it's still kind of warm, so 
Again, and then also, so if it's t if, uh, if it's dry to the touch like that, it's good. You, you can stop. So notice how I have about a cup of, uh, of powdered sugar left over, right? So that's fine. It's fine if you have like a cup of powdered sugar left over because again, the marshmallows, some of them are moist. Some of them have more uh, uh, water content than other marshmallow, other brands, you know? So anyway, so there's other ways of making this. You could actually use uh, like some gums, like a uh, gum trugaconth or guar gum or xanthan gum or whatever. So there's other ways of doing it. That The marshmallows actually have um, the gums in them already. So it's it, that's why it's really easy, easy way to do it. So now if you're making a square cake, you want this to be square because you're gonna roll it out later, right? And if you're making a round cake, you want this to be round, right? You also want it to be flat because if you make, if you wrap it in a big ball, then you have to like roll over the ball with the rolling pin, right? So what I like to do is, I like to uh, wrap it. I'll wrap it up in a round flat ball. So it'll be easy for me to roll out later, right? So you always want to think about the next step on everything, so. We're just gonna, gonna continue to knead this a little bit more. It's not smooth yet, All right? So, okay. All right, so now we have a beautiful rolled fondant. Wrap it up with a little plastic wrap, and then we'll store it. Right? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the demo on this tomorrow. So, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you.